max engine. Firstly, to remove your power valve, remove the retaining spring. Your inner spring. And then you undo your power valve. Be very careful, you only undo these evenly so you don't warp or twist your housing. Once removed, you can see what a dirty power valve looks like. We'll go through cleaning it now. Alright, to remove your power valve, you can simply remove your retaining bolts. If you grab your power valve, you can undo your power valve from the housing. Here's your repellers. Now you can see all the oil inside. This is what we need to clean to maintain smooth operation. Remove all the carbon. Generally, we can use degreaser from the cap care range and with some Scotch Brite and clean it like so. Replacing my gasket only because mine's slightly warm from previous. Replace the O ring on the top of the, the blade. Insert with the chamfer face down. Place your gasket on so the holes line up at the bottom. Put your housing on. Push your bellows over the top. Okay, now you can place your hat, your housing on. I'm going to pull this out to do this for me. Just nipped, realign your blade. Holes at the bottom. Once your bellows is seated, inside spring as well. You can put your housing spring on. not to over tighten these. Now that everything's aligned, it should freely move in and out as shown. Just nip these lightly. Grab your spring. Insert that in so. Hook that underneath. There you are. That concludes today's Rotax Racer tips and tricks regarding the power valve.